Knock knock my brawl fighters, brawl knuckles here, and today I'm going to be doing a would you rather video, and today I'm not alone, I'm joined here with my buddy, Brawl Tails, say what's up. Hey my Brawl Tickies, Brawl Tails here. Yep. Today, me and Brawl Tales are going to be playing Would You Rather. Now, I have played this before with Brawl Sonic, as you may remember. But Brawl Tales, have you played this game before? No, not... Actually, yes, I have played this game before. I played with Brawl Sonic. Oh, cool, so you already know what you're getting yourself into. Yep. Alright, but anyways, let's get into the first question. So the first question says, would you rather be a professional skier or be a professional snowboarder? Hmm, well that's easy. It's just asking, would you rather be Blaze or would you rather be Sonic? Wait, how's that being Brawl Blaze? Well, because Brawl Blaze, do you remember the Olympics? Yeah, what about it? Well, in the Winter Olympics... Bra Blaze was a really good skier in the Olympics. So that's why I put her there. And uh as for Bra Sonic, we all know how he is. He's a he is a master when it comes to snowboarding and a show off. <laughs> yeah, right. Like seriously, if you ever see Bra Sonic on in a very cold place, he will snowboard like a boss. True, true. But yeah, so what are we going for? Hey, I guess we're done with being a professional snowboarder. I would love to be Brawl Sonic snowboarding down a huge ice cliff. I mean, eh, you're not wrong. Because, hey, who wouldn't like to snowboard down a, a huge ice snowy cliff on a big snowy area? I know I would. <laughs> yeah. But then again, being a professional ski skier, mm, that doesn't sound half bad. I mean, being Rob Blaze skiing, I don't do skiing that much, do you? No, not really. I don't do that much skiing, so I guess we're going with be a professional snowboarder, then? Yeah, I can say that. Alright. But wait a minute, wouldn't it be a little bit dangerous of being a snowboarder? Well, be a professional snowboarder, yeah, it's going to be dangerous, but in life you have to take risks. And sometimes risk is not always a good. Most of the time risk can be bad, especially if it's on yourself. Eh, true. But in Sonic's case, then I guess risk is okay when it comes to him. Well, yeah, well, that's because he's bro Sonic. He can do anything he wants. I mean, yeah, honestly, you're not wrong there. Oh, well, looks like 78% amount of people decide to be a professional snowboarder. Huh, very interesting. All right, this is the next one. Would you rather be deep sea diver diving and your oxygen tank runs out? Oh, no. Or be bungee jumping and have your... Court snap. Why are both of these questions so dangerous? I have no idea. But if it is, then I'm willing to take the chance of being a bungee and jumping and having your court snap. Cause honestly, I don't want to drown and I don't want to drown in the deep sea and your oxygen tank runs out. That's a possible chance of you drowning. Yeah. And besides, 
that's pretty bad on us because, you know, we can't breathe under underwater. Yeah. But you know what's funny? What? We can breathe underwater but not in space. Oh. Yeah, you know what? That is very funny. I know, right? That's something I still want to know to this day. And I guess that's where this question leaves. Yeah, I guess so. So, which one are we going with? I don't know. Being a bungee jumping and having your cord snap? Jeez, that sounds like it could hurt. Very bad. But being a but going in the deep sea, diving, and your oxygen tank runs out? I mean, that's just a high chance of you drowning right there. Yeah. It really is. And plus, it makes it bad because you're underwater. True. I'm going to be in bungee. Me too. Okay, so 62% amount of people agrees with us. They said that they would rather be a bungee. I figured that. Alright, here's the next one. I think this is the last one. Would you rather have anything you write become truth or know all the truths there are now? Oh, uh, wow. I don't know what to say about this one. Me neither. Have anything you write become true? Well, I mean, it's really not a hard one. I mean, that's like saying, that's like saying if, if I write something, then it's true, right, but knowing all the truths there are now, that's, that's pretty suspicious, if you ask me. I mean, true, knowing all the truths there are now, I mean, that's real bad, I mean, like, who would do such who would do such a thing? Like who would know all the secrets in the world? It's basically being sneaky. Yeah. And it's something that I it's something now that I kinda of think about, it, it's something Eggman would do. Yeah. Oh yeah. That is something Eggman would do. I know, right? So what are we going with? I don't know. It's hard to decide. Both of these are very sneaky questions. I know. And they're both something that I wouldn't want to do. They're both something that I would never do. Especially not to our not to our the rest of our friends. Cuz that's just that would be messed up. I mean, but at the same time, we could know all the truths because of the son, Amy. Oh. I mean, hey, so Bra Sonic and Bra Amy's relationship, if we knew all the truths in the world, sure, that would be sneaky, but that would also mean we would find out Bra Sonic's secrets. Oh. And I mean, hey, who wouldn't want to know about the uh, the truth behind Saw and Amy? Eh, I'm sure a lot of Sonic fans still want to know the truth behind Saw and Amy. Which Brawl Sonic still has yet to answer. I know, right? Well, 32% of my people agrees with us. And 68% of my people disagree with us. Wow. Alright. Here's the next one. I think this should be the last one. Would you rather eat a zombie or be eaten by a zombie? Well, that's just gross. I know, right? Why would you want to eat a zombie? Forget that. Why would you want to be eaten by a zombie? Yeah, that's pretty messed up. It's very messed up. I mean, hey, I'm gonna say it right. I'm just gonna say this right now. I don't want to experience being. I don't want to experience eating a zombie, and I don't want to experience being eaten by a zombie. 
That's not happening with me. Well, first of all, no zombie can eat us because we have powers and we can fight. Eh, true. You are right. If a zombie comes close comes close to me, it's not gonna be able to eat me. Yeah, especially not with me and my strength. Try it, zombies. I punch ghosts, and I can surely punch zombies. Eh, true. But we still have to answer the, the question, because both of these questions are very, very disgusting. They are. I guess we're going with being eaten by a zombie. Yeah, me too. Well, 23% amount of people agrees with us. Eh, I figured that. Yeah. Well, Broad Tales, I had fun. Me too. Me too, Brown Knuckles. Me too. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Peace out. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you all enjoy what you saw, then hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell too, so that way you all will be the first one to get notified every time I upload a new video. And don't forget to check out Broad Tales' YouTube channel. I will leave a link to Broad Tales' YouTube channel in the description down below. Yeah, guys. Please check me out. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, but for now, we'll see you all next time. See you later, my Brawl Fighters. Peace out. See you, my Brawl Techies.